Hello, my name is Ben Dininger. I am the RCI and Engineering Manager for Han Oak Laminate and Progress Park, uh, parts of the H&I Corporation. Um, what H&I Corporation is, is a group of companies. Um, we're all, we're a Fortune 1000 company, uh, mainly making office furniture and fireplace products. Um, we are based out of Muscatine, Iowa, um, and most of the products that we sell are made in the United States. So the specific facilities that I work with are a portion of our laminate operations. Um, and what that means is we make laminate, which is um, kind of a false wood. Um, it's a paper covered particle board. Um, we make office furniture out of that. So things like desks and bookshelves. Um, it's kind of a affordable and easy to clean alternative to uh, real wood purchases. Um, so my career path, I started as a manufacturing engineer um, working at this facility, Hondo Oak Laminate, um, almost seven years ago. Um, I spent about four years there before transferring to our Highway 61 all steel facility, working as a rapid continuous improvement engineer out there as a team of about 10 individuals supporting all the factories out there. And then after two years there, I came back to work at Oak Laminate, like I said, as the RCI and engineering manager for this facility, as well as our Progress Park and Hauser Street facilities, all within Muscatine. Um, so my education, I came out of Loris College in Dubuque. Um, I graduated from there in 2000, 2013 with a Bachelor's of Science in Engineering, um, General Engineering. And then I came to work, like I said, right out of school as a manufacturing engineer. Um, so for my position, I would say most of the individuals who come in, at least as engineers, have either a um, industrial engineering or a mechanical engineering or an industrial tech degree. Um, some have a supply chain degree as well. Um, and then the RCI manager portion of the company, really we have a variety of individuals. It's not so much about the degree that you have to get here. It's really about showing a knack for for lean problem solving um, and being able to kind of develop others and teach others a lot of the, the tools and skills that we utilize pretty heavily here. And most of the value I create in my work really is skills that I developed on the job, um, whether it's some of the problem solving skills I use or some of the tools that we use on a day-to-day -day basis to um, you know, make decisions and, and do things as cost effectively and as safely and efficiently as we can. Um, for promotional ability within the company, so we do encourage movement um, within every couple or so of years. Um, we really do offer a lot of opportunities, specifically within the Muscatine campus as well. Uh, we have about 4,000 employees that work in Muscatine alone, um, so a significant portion of our company is here, um, which really allows you to be able to move from facility to facility and to build a pretty significant network. Of individuals that you can share best practices with um, and lean on for support when you have certain questions. Um, so it's, it's very beneficial. So for, for me specifically, it's been nice. Um, I've gotten to see quite a few of our facilities and, and build a good relationship with many of their um, individuals and other engineers who work there. Um, for merit increases, we are able to receive a, a yearly merit increase based on performance, as well as being eligible for merit increases upon promotion. So for the workplace, I spend about probably 50% of my time on the shop floor and the other 50% uh, in the office. It really does vary week to week. And the nice thing is within our manufacturing facilities, you are kind of able to choose how much of your time you want to spend in each area based on what you enjoy and what you're, you're most talented at. If I was to give some advice to a student who's in, interested in kind of following the same career path, I'd say that, you know, it, with, within schooling and specifically college, it's not always about the topics that you learn. It's more about learning to learn, right? So it's it's kind of like when you think of your math problems that you're doing and these math courses that you're taking, it's not necessarily that you're going to be using that math, but it's that you're learning how to develop some of these problem solving skills, how to be able to define a problem, um, investigate it, and then be able to come up with a solution. So most of what you do within an engineering degree is more of a rite of passage and kind of showing that you have the ability to work hard and that you have the ability to learn quickly and the ability to solve problems. Thank you.